If you want one of your song suggestions turned into a video, you have to click the subscribe button because I will not do requests from people who are not subscribed. It is not making any sense. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I do not just do a basic reaction. We're going to look at the lyrics and try to figure out what the fuck's going on. Go bar by bar, the best ones, the worst ones, the, the golden bar versus the lazy lyric. And if the song is great, we'll give it a diamond delivery. And I'm talking great, great. I'm talking perfect. So with that, let's get into the song. Studios haunted, this house full of spirits Furniture's moving, the sounds grow mysterious 22 sitting on a shelf if I need it She says I take myself so serious My speech, death the scope I've seen death the close soul Reason for a soul that I never saw Cold feet when I get a call from the netherworld Call back, we broke glass ceiling Shards in the rain, now dead on the rifle Heart made a gray cloud's head on the swift full sharks in the purview, draw me a spiral The star in a circle It's like Dante's Inferno In the dark with no Virgil Lost and deserted If, if the house is haunted, a 22 is not going to do sh fucking dick, right? Like, you never see, like, in Poltergeist or The Exorcism, the guy never shows up with a 22. So I have to imagine this is for suicide? There isn't one line on this verse that is better than the next line, but I definitely love the My Speech Stethoscope, I've seen death up close. I think that that cadence makes that line shine. My speech stethoscope, I've seen death up close. As of right now, I'm trying to understand how your speech is a stethoscope. You get it like a lot of religious references in this. The Divine Comedy with Dante's Inferno. Um, reborn under that sky. She held me under uh, water. I was baptized. Like, it, it's very thematic. The overall emotion that I, I, I get from this song, this first verse, is fear and apathy at the end of it. Was he, was he changed for the worse? Or like, did he become apathetic because of a relationship with someone? Did he fall in love with a church girl who like broke his heart and then he's like reverting back to being like an ass, uh, uh, like an asshole? I don't fucking know. I definitely see a relationship between like death and sex, pain versus pleasure kind of aspect. Shibari swimming, like you, you, you could have just like put her in a fucking concrete block and dropped her off the boat. Shibari swimming is like that, like a sexual death kind of thing. Like it's what was the name of that asshole who killed himself? The one, who, the one. What was the name of that? Oh God, now I need to know. I knew it was a David. It's David Carradine. Clark Kent. Superman's critique on the whole human race. So if we just step back from the song and just think about the visuals and the message and the flow 
and everything. So far, it's a solid song. I really do like it. I'm not blown away by it yet. I I definitely think this is like a, like a great song. There's really nothing for me to like sink my teeth into, but it's definitely like a fresh, it's a fresh taste. You can tell like there's a lot of effort in this song, but there's not a, a single lyric right now that's blowing me out of the goddamn water. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the second verse. What I really want to talk about right now is that the chorus has so many words. When I wrote music for my band way back when, the idea was you wanted to make the chorus, if anything, memorable and chantable. Like, if if they couldn't remember your your verse, at least they could remember the chorus. There is one, two, three, four, five, two, 45 lines. There are 45 lines in the chorus right here. I love the transition between the two different vocal effects in the first four bars and the last four bars. When Sadistic uses his regular voice in the last four, it gives me like a Mac Miller vibe, like a soothing vibe. Pull on the rope, keep the limbs tight. Blind, need the blind with their insight. Bottom of the jar says to re up. Hala, here's a song that was inside. How long was I wrong for I get right? Most of the anger was misplaced. Hope that I grow through the mistakes. House full of knives, find an escape. Echinacea in a switchblade. Reciprocation when I give hate. A fist and rate to then a truck binge. Kiss the eggs numb till the blood mix. Rain it wouldn't stop till the rust set. Races on the wall, so it's cut skin. Guardians hum in a low pitch. Shabari tongue twist to a clove hitch. You motherfucker. There are so many good lines in the second verse that I, I take back all the bitchiness I, I had in the first. So this is really, really fucking solid. So let's talk about two lines that stuck out to me immediately. House full of knives find an escape. And raining wouldn't stop till the rust set. Can you fucking imagine? That knives line is so good for two reasons. And I, I know I... I'm almost positive he wrote it in the sense of like, I need to get out of this, so let me kill myself. When you hear that line, it might just seem like, like it, it's it's just an easy line. It's an easy line to write. House is full of knives, find an escape. Two different things. No. No, motherfucker. There's a thousand uses for a knife. It is a tool. You, it's, it's another way of saying I have so many tools at my disposal to get out of this house. Like, let me find an escape. This entire verse is talking about how he feels trapped in this house or this relationship the way i see this whole song is that he was getting advice from people about his relationship he turned to drinking he became an asshole and he was a dick to this woman this second verse is visually pleasing to read and it is it is audibly pleasant to hear dude like this is amazing this is really good and i want to full disclosure full disclosure I regretted not giving Morning Glory a diamond delivery because I heard the song like two, three more times. I was like, I, I'm so stupid. This song is a fucking diamond delivery. It, 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 it trounced my expectations. And now that I'm looking at this song, am I going to regret not giving it one either? I think that second verse is so good. And the chorus itself is so well constructed. And the literal, the lines that are so literal, and the, the lines that are very uh, thematic, and the ones that really like proc imagery, I really, I'm really digging it, man. I think this, I think this couldn't have been written any better. Everything here that I'm reading, everything here that I'm reading, is as good as I anticipated the song to be. So I have to give the song a diamond delivery. I cannot see a line that would make this song better. I love it. So, like I said before, guys, um, I'll put in the fucking chorus, I guess. I This is the last verse. It just goes back into the chorus. I'll just put the chorus in anyways. I'm sure you won't mind. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Later.